NearChat is an application you can use to chat through Matrix. As an example, all internal KDE discussion happen on the KDE Matrix instance channels and you can use NearChat to participate in them. Today, NearChat is announcing their third major version and I don't really mean major. Even though it's a pretty new application, the amount of work that's been done is impressive. The first new feature you can easily see, all messages are now into bubbles, the standard for any chat application, and this makes it much easier to visually parse them and their order. I think this change alone will bring new chat appearance to a whole new level. Then there's a whole new chat bar, which is the component that lets you write messages. It was completely redesigned. It now allows you to nicely see what you're editing if you're editing a message or what you're replying to when you click on the reply button. You can also attach an image and see a preview of it before sending with a nice edit button and crop, flip, etc. Then typing slash will pop up all available commands in a room, which is particularly useful. And speaking of commands, you can send a custom reaction by using slash react blah blah blah. It will look like this when you actually use it. Oh, and of course, you can still react to messages using hearts and stuff. To be honest, this is my favorite feature. And since it's easier to edit messages, you might want an easier way to trigger the edit mode. Now you can just use the up arrow to switch to the last message you wrote and edit it, so that fixing mistakes is much easier. Also, if you try to open a matrix link with your browser, the links starting in matrix blah blah blah, it will now actually open up in NeoChat, saving you the time of copy pasting that link to NeoChat. Also, if you are using a notification system that supports quick replies, like in Plasma, every time you get a new message, wait for it, wait, 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 you will be able to quick reply to it just from the notification pop-up. It's super useful to give a quick reply to a private message when you're working on something else entirely without having to bring up NeoChat again. Then look at what happens if I type fireworks and send that emoji. That's right, I will get actual fireworks to pop up in the application. And it even works if I type in snow with a very snowy snow coming up from the top. This might be the sexiest new feature of the of NeoChat. But there's more pretty stuff. I can't show you this one, but if you run NeoChat on a phone, which by the way, you can, context menus are now implemented as bottom drawers, which are very pretty. Next is the new UI for switching accounts, and I don't have multiple accounts right now, but if I had, the switcher would appear to the bottom of the room list. Switching accounts is a feature that NeoChat had from day one, but now there's a whole new UI to do it. Then there's a bunch of bug fixes and minor improvements, like touch scrolling is more smooth, joining a room will make it open right away instead of on restart, etc, etc. In just three months, NeoChat did a giant leap forward in terms of usability and, you know, being one of the prettiest KDE apps. And all of this is just the new stuff, there's also the cool old stuff like being able to explore room and pretty much anything in the context menus that really show that yes, this can be used on a phone, but it's fully fledged and featured on a desktop as well. And if you haven't already, you should really, really go check it out. Bye.